Congratulations on the win. Uh, how does it feel to get back in the win column with such a great finish? Thank you. Um, it feels great. I, you know, I'm a true believer, and you're only as good as your last fight. And I'm very pleased with my performance to have that as, you know, my last performance. To also make a statement, you know, I'd like to have the opportunity to get another crack at a uh, top 10 level fighters. You know, so I hope with that performance, I'm able to prove that, you know, I, I belong in the top 10 eventually. And Chant, he took a lot of punishment from you, especially in the first round. And, and kind of going into the third, did you feel him deteriorating during the round? Um, I, I did. I don't, I don't know about deteriorating, but what I was feeling was more of just my range, you know, my, my ability to use my speed and just popping a lot of the jabs. And I think once I found my range, it was only a matter of time where he was just going to, uh, you know, eventually succumb to my power. I felt my punches landing more flush, more clean, and uh, I felt him slowing down a little bit. You know, but hats off to him, man. He's a very tough opponent. He took a lot of punches, and, I, I, you know, I try to not put so much weight on the finish. If the finish happens, then great. But I was just ready to just continue to throw, you know, as much brutality and power and punishment into each punch as I could until it did the job. How's about the foot for a sec? We see it's wrapped up right now. How much of a factor was it through the fight for you? Uh, we train for this, man. In my camp and, you know, with my team, we, we understand that in martial arts, you, you have four limbs for a reason, you know. So I felt it after the first round. I threw a kick and uh, felt it almost right away, but you know it, it didn't really slow me down. I figured you know just throw more hands. You know I also didn't want to show any weakness. I didn't want to give that away to him to try to you know hop on it. So a lot of it is just your best poker face out there. You know. Aside from getting the win at Madison Square Garden, is this win more satisfying knowing that you're the first fighter to finish champs, even dating back to his amateur career? Yeah, absolutely. You always want to you know. I think it's about statements, and you know, if the the best statement you can make is to be able to be the first to do something to someone that's not been done before. And, and you know, obviously, big win here, uh, finishing chance. Uh, do you feel like that puts you right back in the mix? Because the last guy you lost, you just got a big week uh, win uh, last week against Ben Askren. Yeah, I believe it does. You know, but at the end of the day, I'm not the one to say. Yeah. It's all you know, Dana White's call. It's all uh, you know, it's it's their call. I keep my head down, keep my blinders on, and I just keep doing my job and try to do the best that I can, show great performance like that, try to finish every opponent until I'm given a good opportunity. I'm hoping one day eventually I do get a crack at the top 10 again. And, and how did it feel getting to have this fight week with your teammates Shane and Andrew Rio as well? Like that it must have added a lot more to this week. Oh, absolutely. It's, I mean, it's, it, it's such a statement it, personally for me, you know, within my team because it's freaking cool to have, you know, two of your brothers fighting alongside with you. Not just that, but at UFC, at MSG, you know, it, at the, you know, just how intense it is tonight with, you know, the, the people that we have present in, in the audience today. You know, it, it's always a great, a lot of it is just energy. There's a lot of energy, a lot of intensity, you know, to the room when the three of us are out there together. Julio had a, had a close fight. Did you get a chance to watch that at all, or did you try to stay out of that? So uh, I was warming up and like one eye warming up, the other eye trying to keep an eye on him. It's tough, man, because uh, you know you love your brothers and my heart went out for him. But it's hard too because I was up next, so I was doing my best to stay focused. You know, I heard the uh, the outcome of the fight, so um, you know this is what we signed up for. You know, and I always wish my brothers the best. But you know, it, it was it was really hard to go out there. If anything, after his loss, it kind of motivated me. I was like, man, I got to get that win for him, man. So you know. It could have motivated me, motivated me one of two ways. Either he came back with the win and just felt that energy, or you feel bad for your brother. You want to go out there and avenge that win for him. Because your brothers, is Shane gonna watch your watch your finish and try to try to outdo you and talk? Oh, of course, it gets competitive that way. Yeah, I'd expect no less. But that's great, man. I, I want him to do his best. You know, Shane's on a climb right now. Julio's on a climb. What my whole team is, you know. So we only want the best for each other. So I'm definitely rooting for him and hoping he puts out a performance of the night, which I think he will. Well, I mean, you mentioned the confidence. How did you sense your confidence growing in this particular fight as you were landing shots? I, I felt it even before the fight, to be honest. You know, a lot of it is, I, I think one of the things I, I have a hard time with is just the, the right mindset going into fights. My tools, my skill set, my abilities are always there. But sometimes if I don't have my head right for that night, then, um, you know, it shows. I feel like I've lost in the past to people I should have beaten. But now it's a matter of just tightening that up and truly believing in yourself. I give a lot of credit to my coaches because they they really root behind me and they push me to believe in myself, you know, and there's nobody more dangerous than somebody who truly believes that they're unstoppable, you know, and I think having a good head headspace going into a fight and having a great deal of confidence going into a fight is your best asset, as good as your hands going into a fight. Who are some of the losses you think you should have won? 
Uh, I don't want to name names, you know. I just know in, in my heart, you know, I, I know, like, pe you know, people said, oh, that was a close fight, you should have won. You know, I don't believe that. I think, you know, if, if they won, they won. But I felt like, you know, there were fights that I could have either finished or I should have won. You know, not based on uh, on the judges. I mean, fights that I, I should have won myself, you know. But uh, we're now, you know, that's behind me. That's uh, part of my journey, my process to now build that level of confidence to go out there and just be the best version of myself. And we that uh, rematch against Ben Askren. That was a close fight in Bellator. Back yes, in the there you go. That's one of the fights we're talking about. You know, but um, whatever path uh, Dana White sets me on, that's the path I go in, and I'm just going to, you know, focus on one opponent at a time and, um, you know, basically pound my way up to the top ten eventually. You know, I'm here to show that as long as I've been fighting, I still have the ability to make it to the top level, you know, and I belong up there, you know, amongst the top ten. What's ahead for you? Sorry? What's ahead for you? Now that the fight's over, you know, you have some time now. What are we doing? Just recouping and waiting for the next fight? Uh, recovering and then, yeah, going to the next fight. But before that, it's just going back to the, you know, back to camp. Because re really, now that we, you know, we, we found a good recipe for a way to get me out there and just, like, sh you know, shine with my hands and just be, you know, confident and strong, now we got to go back and solidify that and just do it over and over and over, right? He's got to... You know, just be be training every single day, make it a thing that it's just part of my life. You know, and it always is, but it's just, you know, n now that I, I feel great about how I won, now it's a matter of going back and just, you know, back to the drawing board. Any yeah. idea what uh, the injury on the foot is? Have you guys sort of had a bit of a look at it in the back, sort of throwing around some ideas? Nah, it's just a scratch. I don't know. <laughs> is it just got swollen? I don't know. I don't think it's broken. I know I've broken enough bones in my lifetime to know the difference, but. It's it'll be fine, you know. I'll heal up from it, put 